Day Columbus on Fox 28 starts now with this first morning severe weather alert. And good morning. It is 8 o'clock on your Wednesday. Good Day Columbus is on severe weather alert. Strong. The offer right now at Obamacare911.com. 825, it's time for pet parenting, and we are getting you prepared for today's possibility of severe weather. This is one of those things where our pets can be our gauge for what's about to happen. Dr. Nikki Eaton is here. You're a veg veterinarian from the Animal Hospital Polaris, and you brought your little friend with you. Libby, yes, this is my dog, Libby. Libby, so as we prepare for something like this, um, severe weather, a, a real possibility tonight, um, and through the overnight hours, strong winds, you know, rattling the windows. What should we know as we head into this with, with our pets? So one of the things is, is, especially people that have puppies right now that may have never been through a storm, is try not to coddle them or cradle them during the storm because then they're gonna learn to be afraid of it. Okay. Ah, okay. So we have puppies that have never been exposed to storms before. So the big thing is it's not a big deal. Everything's okay. Now, what if, like in my case, I did not know this. And so now my dogs are kind of, they, they've been conditioned, I guess, to be afraid. Exactly. What do I do now? Well, you, you can start behavior modification with them where you aren't necessarily coddling or cradling them. Now, we've talked before about the thunder shirt. Yes, so getting the thunder shirt. It saves me yes, every time. Yes. And the key to using the Thunder Shirt, remember, is don't just use it during storms. You have to use it intermittently throughout the year. And if you're wondering what a Thunder Shirt looks like, this is a photo of it. So it literally looks kind of like a vest for a dog. Um, and, and you put it on snug and tight. And it, it's pressure points, right? So it just yes. kind of calms. Just like when we uh, swaddle a baby, right? it's the same idea. We're swaddling the dog, making them comfortable. And cats, too. People have put it on cats also. Ah, OK. So and, and the great thing about this, too, is isn't there like a guarantee? So if it doesn't work, you can send it back. Yes, you can. There okay. is a guarantee. Now, my other question for you is um, the, the fact that animals are kind of engaged. So what should we look for? Because as the pressure changes, they sense things before we do. Right. And so some dogs will become anxious before a storm. Um, so just mind what they're doing. You know, one of the things that I talk to people about a lot is um, we have these treats called calming treats. Uh -huh. They're all natural. And you can give that to the dog What's or in the it? cat. Is it like a yeah, it's like all the natural. Yes. And I mean, so many people have told me how well it works. I actually even use it on Libby because she can become anxious before a storm. So it's maybe not so much dogs that are so afraid and scared, but just pacing and know that something's going on. You can give them those calming treats just so that they're not so, yeah, so they're relaxed inside. Yes. All right, Dr. Nikki, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you, you, Libby. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> she has her head down. She's she's preparing for the weather. <laughs> Pete, send it over to you. I know your dog yes. too. We're, we're all kind of a That's little right. anxious about this happening. I know. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, make sure that uh, you are prepared. We are into that moderate risk for severe storms today.